Lovely people. Hello, hello. We're going up the coast. We're going up, 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 up the west. We've just been at the lovely Nakara Festival. Oh my god. What a journey. So many good people and like the organizers and the, the crew there, James and Donna and Phil, and just everybody. I love festivals like this. Like, I really love it. actually a family festival for the family that own the property, they run this festival and you, you go out and it's like inland off kind of like Geraldton inland and it's about 20 minutes out and it's in like you go down from this mountain, this hill like into, into this the Chapman Valley, I think Chapman it's Valley and there's like a little like a little river area that runs through there and the festival is just like all around this river. Yeah, we went for a, a hike the first morning we were there. Mm. A lot of this tour, we've been doing a lot more hikes, which has been a lot more fun because mm. we're not drinking. Yeah, lots of um, early so we've had, walks. We've had a lot more energy. And so the first morning we were there, we woke up and we walked right up to the top of the ridge and walked up to the top of this ridge and we walked right the way around the festival um, grounds. And then we got to this one point, we found this. Um, Where is it? We couldn't quite make out what it was, but we found some bones. It, was, it looked like a sheep or like a really big oh, kangaroo. Yeah, yeah. Like a big roo, like a skull. Anyway, we walked into the bush, picked them up, and then we came back out, went went bush dimension, made our way back to the caravan, and um, then, you know, like you remember the, the mosquito episode? Oh, this was the next but worse, we had the blood sucking episode, the tick episode, the ticks came out to get oh, us. How many ticks were there? Oh, like, excuse me French, but it was, I need to say the F word for that because it, it was. If you could imagine 10, 20 ticks on you crawling up in your bits, but like, it wasn't, Okay, so, you know, you get, we, I'm used to getting like eight ticks or something like that. Um, but this time it was like you'd get 10, 20 ticks crawling up you, you'd get them off you, but then they would just appear again. You have another 10, we couldn't get rid of them. And anyway, after like, I reckon hundreds of ticks, tiny little ticks of like, like, we full quarantined each other. Okay, with that being too visual, but this is Levi. <laughs> Already ticks! Help! I was freaking out. I'm like... <laughs> yes. That's ticks. Oh, like all up in your like... There was ticks everywhere. But we had to, and We had to do it. It was freaking bam. It was, yeah, we had to take one for the team for each other. Which is weird because a year or two back, when I think it was just one year back, I was at Splendor, and um, I got a paralysis tick on my. I'm not even joking. It was like right before I had to play as well, and um, yeah, I, you know, if you know what a paralysis tick is, they can actually fuck you. They can hurt you. Um, like they make you wheezy and sick, and, and that's so. This is the positives of van life. <laughs> Going bush, right? Living in the Australian bush. This was in splendor. This isn't just like no. Anyone could happen. Like, anyone. Still Australian bush. Here's Aussie bush. Anyway, got me like right, right near where my body is. Uh, well, I won't go too much into the anatomy of it. We don't know what age, what demographic is watching this video. But okay, just imagine that, or not. And uh, yeah, and then Sam spent the like next two or three hours like trying to get this tick out of me. Anyway, it was a bit of a process. I lived to tell the tale. Let me say I was a tick veteran, but I wasn't quite prepared 
for the hundreds of texts to find us at Nakara. The festival was so well done. Where we parked up was right near the Fox Dam and there was this huge flying fox. Like, I don't know how long it was, but it was huge. It was probably 50 to 100 meters long. Yeah. And it flew from this gum tree, like. <laughs> through trees. Through trees. Through trees. Into, like, the dam. You're flying by the time you get like, down there and you can jump on. They had surfboards and you can surf. And, uh, yeah, like, a lot of the flying fox is over land. Mm. So, and it's high up too. You can't mess up. Mm. You don't want to mess up, you know. So you kind of like are through it, but you gotta like be like lifting yourself up over bushes and And then you finally get to the board and you're like, oh, let's, go. <laughs> let's go again, round two, yeah. three, four. So that was good. We had a bit of water to just cool ourselves off because it was quite hot. Oh how cold. That's nice and cold, yes. <laughs> and then the bands were really good. Yeah. Um, finally got to see one of our friends, Blue Child Collective, play, and he his set was killer. Um, uh, the Vegetable Band was good. Um, the Vegetable Band. <laughs> Some so I've forgotten the name of them, but they were really good. So many good bands. And before this, we, we met a, a girl named Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Chelsea! Um, at uh, the cafe. We were just doing like a little bit of work the days before going into the Cara Festival. And she just happened to sit at the same table we were. We were all doing a bit of laptop work. And we just started talking. And next minute we were talking, you know, about different books we were reading. And then we were kind of just really just resonated well with her she was mm. tribe part of the tribe so make for life there and then we asked her do you want to come to the festival so she she joined us and um came along for a little bit which was really fun yeah um, yeah and so, like then we caught up even further up the coast so oh yeah yeah um so that was awesome yeah mm. nukara you have our hearts we will be back yeah and um if it's not next year, it'll be the year after that, but there's yeah, big things happen, so it's exciting. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Make us feel so welcome welcome, and and uh, Phil's mum for taking us on bushwalks. Yeah. yeah. It was like uh, Phil built the place himself. Yeah. And like, it's very well done. You know, very spacious and very homely. Made out of the wood from the property. And yeah, but yeah. Even, even for his mum to take us on this walk, around the property she explained like all the different fauna that was growing there mm, um, things bees, that, the ants the trails, trails. That they were doing just like you know i guess things that you would observe by from living out on the property mm. and things that you don't necessarily get by living in the city or fair life where you're constantly on the move you know so it's you, good to hear her story too like coming yeah. from england to australia and migrating and yeah yeah i think you know one of the things that i love is hearing people's story yeah, same. <laughs> we cut it. This <laughs> bloke. I spent seventy dollars on a haircut. We are at the Cara Festival near Geraldton in WA. We've parked up. It's a beautiful location. There's lots of big gums, beautiful wildlife, and it's all around a river that runs through the land here. Let's go!